All right, the first tool, I'm gonna to use this, a soil pipe cutter. This is a chain with some blades on it that I'm gonna wrap around the pipe. Let me just muscle this in here. Okay, so we get that caught right there. Then I need to snug it up. And then once it's in place, I'm gonna turn this ratchet. Now, what I'm worried about is that this pipe may be worn and the bottom may break away and not break clean. So cross your fingers. Here we go. This is gonna make a loud noise. Oh. What do you think, this one? Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that, perfect. We got lucky there. All right, for this other side, I'm gonna use a little simpler tool. Just want you to step back a little bit, a sledgehammer. Because it's cast iron, I can hit it and it should break that fitting. Ready? There it is. Okay, that's loose now. Let's try. Okay, that can go where it belongs, outside. The last part of the excavation is to get this old lead and oakum off the old pipe. What's oakum, Richard? Oakum is a sealing method used for the old lead connection. It's actually oiled hemp. Now I just want to chisel that away. Now, with the house trap removed, we've got to connect point A to point B. So, we've got an angle fitting and a clean out, and I've connected them together with this, a no-hub coupling. That's a neoprene gasket, stainless steel bands that we tighten up. And that's gonna hold those two together? Oh yeah, for the next 100 years. All right, so now I've gotta measure the pieces of pipe that we're gonna connect it all together with. So I'm gonna hold it where I think it is. How's that look right there? Looks pretty good. All right, looks like a six. Let's try that. Okay, that's six inches on this end, and we're ready to cut. All right. Okay, snug up the neoprene gasket on the new work. Now, you'll notice that the new pipe is slightly smaller than the old works. So there's a little trick to getting this gasket on the old pipe. Fold it back on itself all the way. Then, get it next to it and fold it. Okay, there's that. And now we'll snug it up with this no-hub coupling. I use a special wrench called a torque wrench, and that's designed to snug these bands up without over-tightening. Let me catch that coupling. There we go. Now, all I have left to do is to measure this last piece of pipe. That looks about right with pitch. And that looks like about eight inches. Okay, you'll hear it start to crack. Oh! Okay, last gasket there. And I put the bands over the top. And if I snug them all up, you can call the drain company. Great. Then we can get the cutters in here with this big straight pipe. Right, and look at the size of the cleanup. Look, they can put the biggest cutter they got right down there. Mm -hmm.